So first you need some fish, so we've got a car wire. So I've already filleted it. I don't bother skinning it, I don't bother scaling it. Um, so as you can see, fish and scales and good blood fish. It's bled when we caught it. Try and get as much blood out as possible. But other than that, as plain as Jane. Sorry, any Janes out there. Okay, so uh, it's pretty easy. It's just, <laughs> as with all curing, it's sugar, salt, and other additives. So uh, raw sugar, but you can use brown sugar. I'm not sure we've got any brown sugar. Might have a look. Yeah, so we've got some brown sugar. Um, I tend to normally use brown sugar, but you can use raw sugar. Not too much of a difference. One adds more of a kind of caramel flavour. It doesn't really matter what kind of measure you use. It's a bit like using cups. So. down just short of a cup and we'll just top that up with the raw sugar the only sugar I probably wouldn't use for this would be white sugar um, I've tried it with white sugar before and I just don't get a very good result And then plain old cheap boring salt. I don't care if it's iodized or not iodized. It doesn't really matter. We're not doing any kind of long cure. It's only going to be for a short time. So um, just chuck that in. And the trick is to use a little bit more sugar than salt. Maybe a third, if not a quarter. Uh, less salt than sugar. As you can see, a bit less. That's the basic cure. Salt and sugar. Just going to give it a sweetness for the smoke, and the salt is going to draw out, and the sugar as well, is going to draw out excess water from the fish and preserve it that little bit longer. Okay. Now for the flavouring parts. Okay, so there's nothing too exciting. Black peppercorns, garlic, you can use fresh, I'll just use this dried garlic flakes because you know, that's easier. And chili flakes. This is just one type of flavour. You can literally do whatever you want. And we also use a uh, zest of one whole lemon. Here is said lemon. Right, so we just grind those up together. So we'll start with the peppercorns. And the trick is just a little bit more than you think you need. So that was a handful, which I would say will be fine. So I put another half a handful in. Chili flakes. We normally go a pinch, which would be about that much. So we'll go another half a pinch more. I like it spicy, so a little bit more than that. Maybe a little bit more than that. The garlic flakes, now this is the weird bit. Too much garlic makes it taste horrible. So a little bit makes it taste better. So I really do just a pinch. That will probably be the equivalent to maybe uh, a clove. Maybe a clove and a half. And then the zest of one lemon, which I do with a zip grater. Okay, grind it all up. That smells awesome. So I chuck that in there. Now 
and then stir it all up. If you've got any cuts on your hands, I would recommend you put gloves on because it stinks like buggery. Now comes the nice easy part. Take your car way out, or your fish out, whatever fish you got. A wee layer of cure in there. Right, so I've just covered the, uh, the bottom with cure. And then I'll lay my carboy in. Now if there were any, if it was a bigger fish than this, I would uh, cut it up so it's in smaller bits. So just where these two touch, I'm just going to throw some cure in there. And then the rest, we just sprinkle over it. The trick with it is, is the thickest part of the fish with the loin is, you want to get more cure on there and on the tail, you can get away with less. You can use more cure than what I've used. Um, and it doesn't really change the curing time so much. As you can see, it's already, to be honest, stunning straight away to draw water out of it so now what we do nice and simple is we cover it you can use a bag or in my case some thing wrap there goes in the fridge for overnight and almost forgot you should refrigerate it overnight okay so um when I did that car wire, I got a little bit distracted, had to go to work, and I had to rush it out really fast and didn't film it. So, I've been fishing again since, obviously, and uh, I have caught a kingfish, and I've treated it exactly the same way, so the same way of curing it, and we're going to start where I, with the kingfish where I left off with the car wire. And it just goes to show you can use this type of method for pretty much any fish at all. Alright, I'm going to get out of the fridge. Right, so it's been sitting as I was doing do with the, as I did with the car wire, gonna sit in the fridge overnight to cure. So I did it when I got home yesterday at maybe two o'clock and it's maybe 9.30 or something now, nine o'clock. And as you can see, it is full of liquid. So that has drawn all of that water out of the fish. So, as you can see, from a floppy piece of fish, to it nice and stiff, which is good. Nice pink colour. So now, an important bit is to make sure that all of this cure is washed off. Because um, if it's not, it's just a very salty mess. Alright, so I'm going to go and wash that all off now. All right, so I've washed it all off. Um, mm, it's good. I filled these in um, lemon and black pepper, um, but the same salt and sugar. And so we clean them off in nice cold water. Uh, don't use hot water because you'll cook it. And that's not what we want to do before we start smoking it. So now we need to let it dry off for a few hours. You can do that in the fridge, which is what I'm going to do. So just put them on a tray, leave them in the fridge uncovered for a few hours. And they don't, they don't smell fishy because they've been cured and it's very fresh. I only caught it yesterday. Um, or you can just leave them out and put a cover over so the flies don't get to it just for a few hours. And then we'll go to the smoker. So, catch you again in a few hours. Okay, sweet. Uh, just gone to work, come back about four hours later. Beautiful sunny day at home. So, uh, Karen was smoking the fish, so I've put it in the fridge in the brewery. So, we'll run over there, grab it out of that, and the smoker's in there too, and we'll uh, chuck it in the smoker. Show you how to do it. Alrighty, let's go.
Right, so it's in the fridge, I'll go grab it. It's tucked dry. You know? It's good. Which is great, exactly as we want it. So, over here is the smoker. And we're going to be using Manuka. In the warehouse, chips, chips. Throw that. This is supposed to be the hydration tray or something, but it works much better as the smoker tray than the smoker tray. Okay, and that goes in the smoker, and then we put the fish in the smoker. Okay, so I want to smoke that at about 100 ish, 110. Yes, it doesn't have to be precise. When I we'll keep an eye on it and see how it looks. And I'll pop back in 20 minutes after some smoking's done. And that's it. Sweet, ginger beer in a keg. Let's have a look how the fish looks. Oh yeah, coming on nice. Woo, that's a bit stingy on the eyes. So I just give it a push. I'd say it's gonna be ready in probably another 10 minutes. Probably about it. It's been in there for about 30, oh no, probably 40 minutes. And the temperature has been sitting at 110 ish for about most of that time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Turned out really good. So, as you can see, the water's starting to come out of it nice and clear. It's cooked. And that water will make like a jelly once it gets chilled. I don't try not to pour it away. So now what I do is I put them back in the smoker uh, for, well, until they cool down, really. Um, let the smoker just kind of slowly cool down. Leave them nice and level, probably another 20 minutes, something like that. And then we'll take them out and I'll try not to eat them all straight away. Sweet. Alright, so uh, the smoker's cooled down and the fish is just very slightly warm. We'll start with the belly sections. Now I use a knife because it sticks to the steel. But it comes off well. And as you can see, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, God, damn. Yeah. Just taste the best, though. I love smoked kingfish. All kinds of smoked fish. And that's it. Enjoy. It should last at least a week in the fridge, possibly more. If you wrap it up, Mmm. That was good.